Hello friends and welcome to part 10 of our fast API tutorial. We are going to be talking about declaring request example data in this tutorial. Um, I was, I was about to actually just apologize for not uploading a video in a while, but, uh, you have no idea how long it's been in between recording these. You wouldn't know that it's that today is Wednesday and I last recorded a video on Friday. So never mind. You don't get an apology from me. Okay. You can see here, we've got our app running. I have commented out all of the code above that we touched on in the nested models um, uh, video. And we have our clean slate, we've got the app running, and we've got our docs open right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So this is gonna be a bit more informational. It's not gonna be quite as um, functional uh, as the last thing. So first things first, let's declare a, a um, Request body item, item, base model, name is string, our normal stuff. De description is gonna be string or none equals none. Price is a float, tax is a float or none equals none. Now, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be looking at three separate ways that we can include information about the request body. The first way that we're gonna go is using a class config object. Schema extra equals example. Name is going to be foo. Description is going to be a very nice item. Price is going to be 16.25 and tax is going to be 1.67. Now we save and we refresh the page and nothing should happen because we have not yet declared a route. So let's create a route. App.put items item ID async def update item item ID is going to be an int, item is an item. Very creative. I'm wondering if I should take a, take a three second pause and see if you can figure out what's gonna go here. Okay, I don't know if that was three seconds, but I did it anyway. Results equals item ID, item ID, and item is item return results. How many of you got that? Huh? How many? Congratulations if you did. I'm extraordinarily predictable and you've done a very good job predicting me. Now, let's go in and refresh the page and we've got our request here. Now, here's the cool thing about this. Now we have an actual functional request body. If I comment this out and I save and I refresh, this goes back to a very boring string string zero zero. So remember what we're doing here is we're, we're building a, an API. Included in an API is documentation. So we want things to look nice for people using our API. So if we put in one, two, three, and we run it, we get exactly what we expect to get. Okay. Now let's go back in here and comment this out. There is another way that we can do this. If you don't want to declare it directly on your, your model here, Let's say you want to declare it within the um, within the the request itself, or you want to declare it um, like this is just a weird way to do it. It doesn't make a lot of sense. Like why do, why would you know you need to put in a class config? So let's go up here and let's use our handy dandy field object. Now this has an option example equals foo. This we'll say field none example equals a very nice item field um, dot 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 16.25 and field none uh, 1.67 so what this allows us to do is it allows us to actually um, declare attributes on the individual items within the item. I shouldn't have said that within the actual attributes within the item itself. 
Now, if we go back into here, uh, field, 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 none example. Oh, duh. Example equals, example equals. There we go. Now we refresh our page and we get the exact same thing. Yay, hippie. Hippie, yippie. It's been a long day, I apologize. Okay, let's continue. There is a another way we can do this. Uh, before I touch on that, I just want to mention that any of these, um, uh, any, any other things like field, such as query, path, body, um, there are other things, uh, there's cookie, there's form, file, header. Well, you know, we'll get to some of these uh, later, but all of these have those same options. I can't believe I said hippie instead of yippie. What's the matter with me? Okay, let's go into here. Let's delete, uh, you know what? Let's just do an undo for all of this because we're gonna put it somewhere else. Surprise, surprise. I said there were three, I've only shown you two. Now, let's go into here. We can declare this as a body item. It is a required item, a required field, argument, whatever. I don't, I don't know, I said it's a long day. I said hippie instead of yippie. You gotta give me a break here. Um, now let's declare our example equals name, foo, description, a very nice item. Price is going to be 16.25 and tax is 1.67. Hit save, it formats the code for me. You gotta love using black to format your code. It's fantastic. Now we refresh and my goodness, it looks exactly the same. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, there we go. Um, that's kind of it for this. Um, there's a whole bunch of other stuff and we're gonna touch on this um, you know, down the road. There's more stuff that you can add. You can put stuff in uh, up here that kind of describes the schema. You can do all that sort of fun stuff. But this, again, the function of this is to make our API more user friendly. You don't want it to just be an arbitrary section of uh, an arbitrary place that has routes that you don't know anything about them. Um, that said, Let's expand on this just a little bit. If we hover over this body element here, you can see we have example, but we also have examples. So let's take a look and see what happens here. So let's say examples, we're obviously gonna have more than one. It's a dictionary. And we will move this up into here. This is gonna be our normal one. And this is not gonna work but I'm gonna do this anyway, just to show you for a second. Converted is going to be summary. An example with converted data. And I will show you what that means in just a second. Description, fast API can convert price strings to actual numbers. Should I, should I be moving this over? No, I don't think so. Um, automatically, value is going to be name bar price, and we'll make this a string, 16.25, save. Now, you'll notice there's something going on here. So normal is set like this, converted is set like this. And this is this is what's gonna really screw us up here. Let's do one more. Invalid. Summary, invalid, data is rejected with an error. Value, name, Baz, 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 I think, I think, price, 16 point point two five save refresh hey we got it you can see here this just says normal we go into an example with converted data try it out one two three and notice this is a string but our little description here 
says that it can convert price strings to actual numbers automatically. I should have probably written automatically. Example, execute, and there we go, it converts it. Fantastic. We go down here to invalid data. There is no description because we did not include a description. Description, hello YouTuber. YouTubers, hello YouTubers. We refresh. Um, we go to invalid, hello YouTubers. Now let's go up into normal. Okay, try it out. And you can see here, this is just kind of, it's, it's, it's kind of weird, right? It's just a little, a little strange. And notice, description is showing right down here a very nice item. None of this is making any sense. That's because when you're including the examples, summary, a normal example, description, a normal item works correctly. This is, I don't know if this is actual markdown or if this is um, like modified markdown, I don't remember which. And let's add one more here, refresh. Why is it not working? Oh, I know why, duh. Value, refresh, there we go. Summary, description, and value. Now let's refresh our page here. A normal example. A normal item, double underscore is bold, works correctly, single underscore is italicized text. One, two, three, hit execute, and we get exactly what we anticipate. Okay, that's pretty much it. Again, this is, I, I took it a little slow on this one. Um, I tried to add in a little humor. I've been told that a lot of people don't really understand my sense of humor, so I hope you enjoyed it. Um, in the next video, we're going to be talking about, it's going to be another short one, but we're going to be talking about extra data types. Okay, I'll try and bring some humor there as well. Have a good day, everyone.